actually mail sitting in here. If every second counts in a criminal investigation. There's a mail in one of the slots. It's easy to see why Ava Osborne gets more frustrated by the minute. And I'm not trying to be nosy here, but it looks like someone's electric bill. There's an electric bill in here, an Austin electric bill. Especially when the minutes turn into days. Can't tell what else, but there's... And months. There's four pieces, of, there's five pieces of mail. But before these broken mailboxes, there's a piece of the mailbox. Ava noticed her mail sitting in the slot missing with the USPS informed delivery uh, email option that you have that shows you images of what you'll receive for the day. Bank statements. You go to get and it's not there. Text documents. And it isn't even that a few days later it's there. It just does not ever come. Ava called the KBU defenders after we reported broken mailboxes led to long waits at post offices. I should have brought one of those tickers out here and just tick each time we find one. We found another problem. Is this the, the number you called? Yeah. <clears throat> Turns out this number to report crime We're sorry, goes the nowhere. Or is no longer in service. So basically what's happened is that postal inspectors now are, are on their own. Frank Albergo is the national president for the Postal Police Officers Association. He says in 2020, the U.S. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy limited postal police from investigating mail theft. They can no longer utilize postal police officers. So if there's a, a crime that's committed, postal related, um, a postal inspector can no longer send postal police to respond. And the thieves may face only state charges, not federal. We asked the U.S. Postal Inspector's Office why. A spokesman wrote the agents gather info and evidence for a prosecutor, but it's up to the prosecutor to take the case. And even then, penalties may be lowered in court. We found six federal cases closed in Central Texas over the last decade. Hundreds of identities compromised. Every thief had some of their charges dropped in plea deals. Instead of the max 10 years in prison for just illegally possessing a postal key, court records we reviewed showed one person got about half that. The rest, less. 15 months, 12 months, and three had no prison time, only probation. There's one over here that's pride enough where you could get your hand into it. The two accused of breaking in here never faced the feds. Also has some profanity written on it. One took a plea deal with the state. Might need to bleep that out. Pleaded guilty to credit card abuse. They also spelled one of the cuss words incorrectly. Charges for mail theft. Yeah. And organized crime. <laughs> dismissed. <laughs> Sentenced 14 months. The other case is still pending. Meanwhile, it took three months to get new mailboxes here. And Ava's frustration. It just makes me not confident that I'm going to receive things that I should. Remains.